Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. When I say our, I mean you, me, me, you, all of us, our channel. These are Dollar Tree buys and I'm going to tell you right here up front, right before we get started, I'm pretty excited about this. Not very big, but all new, all new, new, new. Yes, so welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. Let's get started with this. What did I buy from the Dollar Tree? But remember, we're going to be calling it the Five Quarter Store. Five Quarter Store. No longer Dollar Tree. I'm going to make that happen somehow. I'm going to keep like putting it in your head. First little thing I picked up. This is from the cutesy department. It's a cosmetic bag and it's this like white faux leather and it says makeup and it's got the little ribbon zipper. That's what it looks like on the inside. So it's not gusseted. You're not going to be able to put very much in there, but it's still stinking cute for five quarters. Next up, these are like almost like parachute material. No, not parachute. What's the word I want to say? Insulated. I've seen insulated lunch boxes made out of this material, almost like scuba gear, scuba, like, uh, scuba suits. Surf, surf suits. Is it surf suits? Or what? Wet suits. Wet suits. Wet suits. This is like wet suit material. This first one is teal or That's mint green or seafoam green that says, hello, beautiful. And it's got the same zipper color. Then there's this one that says, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. That's Wildfire's favorite thing to tell girls that she meets. You're gorgeous. She says that often. And then there's this one that says, be happy in this lilac purple color, avocado green with the hello gorgeous. The zippers do match, okay? Only five quarters for each of those. These would be cute. Um, I'm just giving you a, a thought. These would be cute for bridesmaids. Yes. You've got bridesmaids. You're going to... And if you stick around to the end of this video, I got a little something for y'all. So stay tuned. Okay, next up. They had new material. There's more than this, but I'm going to share with you these first. These are very farmhouse kind of design. So this first one, it actually says farmhouse established 19... 80 or 1920 I think it says fresh milk and it's got premium quality it's this black with like white chalkboard print very farmhouse very barnyard then there is this one Bless you. thank you thank you everybody this navy blue background and it's got the truck with the daisies on the back don't 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 eat the daisies, don't eat the daisies, don't. Then there's the Carolina blue background with the bicycles and the sunflowers right there. Bicycles and sunflowers. Then there's the actual sunflowers. And then there's this one that says, I think it says home. Live simply. And it's got the water can. And it's got like the eucalyptus and ferns and stuff like that. So these are like your farmhouse crafty goodness that you can make pillows with. You can, if you have somebody small, small enough, like a newborn, you can make a little, just a little sundress out of them. You can, I says you can do whatever you like with them. If you're going to do a bigger project, you need to buy multiples. I only bought one of each. Okay. Then they had some new little items in the crafty goodness section. They had these chalkboard tags that are hearts. They have hearts. They have like labels. Then they had this chalkboard heart with the raffia bow twine that it hangs from. Then they had the star with the raffia bow. And then they had the mason jar with the raffia bow. Five quarters from the five quarter store. Beauty. I didn't get much. I found these cute little snap clips 
They have the butterflies. Butterfly kisses. I like that it has like the flowers, like the purple and the pink and then the pink. Pick those up for me actually. Then I found a patriotic headband. It's got the flag. It's got the red, white, and blue. Cause I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I gladly, I don't know the words. I love Lee Greenwood, but I can't think of the words right now. Who did, who, who gave that right to me? And I proudly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Sing it. Continue it on for me. No, thank you. Listen, how in the world can I forget Lee Greenwood's song about America, but I can remember every lyric to the movie Saturday Night Fever from 1975 or six, and I was like five or six years old. Who knows, sometimes the mind has space for it and sometimes it doesn't. So there's that. Next up, back to the shore living. It seems like every time I show up at the Dollar Tree or the Five Quarter Store, they're putting out more of the shore living items. So now they have the little LED wire lights. They're so stinking cute. One set happens to be the little seahorses in the blue. And then the other one is like the little um, starfish and it's in the green. And this is what they look like. You get 10 of each. I'll try to bring them up close so you can see. So stinking cute, right? Again, anything that I picked up shore living it is not for me, it is for my friend that has a business and lives out at the beach, so none of it is for me. Then I also picked her up, the, they're calling these nautical pins, but they're actually the little clothespin pins, P-I-N, not P-E-N. So stinking cute, it's a little seahorse, and they have it in like the teal color, and then in your natural wood, you get six, so there's that. Then I found these, I guess, I guess you can leave them the way they are or maybe paint them, decoupage, decorate yourself. I don't know. To me, they seem very unfinished. But again, I pick them up for her. She can do whatever she likes with them. I says that you can do whatever you like. So this one is this, the sand and me. And it's got like the well on the top. It's a well of a tail. And then this one is sun, take me to the ocean. And again, you see how they're kind of like unfinished, so maybe you can paint it, maybe you can marker lot it, I, I don't know. This one's my favorite though. So there's those if you're interested. From Dollar General, I picked up the giant that I told y'all were super heavy of the nautical, um, somebody told me what they're called and now I forgot what they're called. It's the knot. The big giant knot they're calling them jute balls here but they were huge super heavy um, I thought that they would be really nice to be as a door weight um, well the five-quarter store brought them in a reduced size so stinking cute so again you can decorate this on a bookcase on a bookshelf Hang them from the door. Hell, I don't know. You can do whatever you want with them. Again, I bought these for my friend. I, I don't do the nautical decorating. With that being said, I also picked her up two of the tablecloths. Now, these are just the plastic. These are not the ones that have the very thin felt backing to them. Um, this one is round and this one is oval. The round one here that I'm sharing with you has like the starfish, starfish, the sand dollar, the conch shell, the coral reef, and then the oval one that I picked up is all like the starfish. So those are available as well. Then I picked up this plastic bowl. I picked up a few for my friend. I only picked up one of each of these. This is like the large plastic like chip bowl could use it for chips or salad bowl and then I also picked up the matching platter to go with it I'm only showing you one but I got more of the bowls so there's that 
Then I'm kind of kicking myself in the tush for not getting two of these. This is a shell-shaped dish. It's that Aurora Borealis. It's like that rainbow effect. You know what I'm talking about? The iridescent that kind of changes colors. And had I have gotten a second one, it could have been like this. So to make a clam, like if I would have gotten the second one and then glued a pearl in the middle. And what would it have reminded you of if I had the clam here and the clam here and a pearl in the middle? Oh, no. No. Our float that we had that I love so much, but that, oh. but that my grandson, who wanted that? It went flying. I have a float that we purchased when we, the first year that we bought the house that is huge. It's a huge clam that sits like this. It's open. The bottom half is a clam also. And then there's a ball that is weighted that you can play with that sits like the pearl. And my grandson absolutely loved that float. And it finally just went kaput after so many years. So there's that. Um, in the way of stationary aisle, I picked up another one of the label makers because I don't know what happened to the label maker that I bought to begin with. Now, the bad thing about the five quarter store is that they do not sell the tape that goes in this. But I was watching Home with Casey. If you're not familiar with her, I'll put her in an iCard right here. I was watching her and she was like, I don't know how this thing works. Like, how does it work? So I thought, I wonder how many people don't know how this works because before you could type in an electronic old brother label printer we had these and actually if you can find them at the thrift store they work amazing and i used to click 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 i would make my name and put it on everything i wanted to fill out the whole roll so you you have to get a roll of basically it's like black blue red that's all these color tapes that you feed through this dispenser here, right here. Okay, and how do you do your name? Okay, so you're going to click this. And when you get to the K, you see the little arrow is pointing to the K. Then once the tape is in there, you're gonna snap it down, okay? And all it does is it makes an impression into that tape. So when it makes the impression into it, it when it pushes down on it, on the tape, it actually pushes it to the point where the color turns white because it's been stretched out. And then you go to the next letter. So the next letter would, and my name would be an A. So I'm gonna go to the A. Make sure that your arrow right here is pointing to the A and then you're gonna click, right? And then it's gonna do that. And then when you're ready to cut it in the old ones, you would go to your scissors, right here, the scissors, you cut it, and it actually clips it for you and then it drops your little name and then you get to put it on all of the things that you need that you want to personalize. So back in the day, in the 70s, if you were carrying around one of these or even in the 80s, the early 80s, if you were carrying, they were much bigger than this, by the way, too. They were much bigger. Um, and they would actually click. This one hardly clicks, but the ones that back in the day. If you had one of these and you showed up with it in school, I mean, you were the most popular kid ever because everybody was like, can you make my name? Can you make my name? Can you make my name? Can you give my name? Can you make my name? And then of course, if the, the older girls would say, oh, can you make me one that says Cindy loves David? And so, you know, you were the cool kid if you had this at school. So that's how it works, home with Casey or anybody else that's asking. You're gonna clip it to whatever letter you need and then you're gonna hit the, but you need that tape that goes with it. So Dollar Tree, my five quarter store, where's the tape that goes with it? Surely if you can bring that out, you can bring the tape. So who knows, maybe they'll start bringing those out for us eventually. Next up from stationery, I picked up some stickers. This one is a 36 count of decal stickers. It says fortune favors the bold, follow your heart every day, never lose something, follow your dreams, blah, 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 36 in this one. And this is from the Momoko brand. This one is a 70 count. It's peace and love, peace, peace. Um, all your little smiley faces, your peace signs, your flowers, you know, your 60s, also from Momoko. These next two are also from Momoko. The first one is 96, and these are scented stickers. They say they smell like chocolate. I don't know if that's the case. I can't smell, so I can't tell you. 
but these are so stinking cute. They're s'mores and marshmallows. They're so stinking cute. For my friends and family who love kawaii stickers, this is very kawaii. Look at how stinking cute they are. The little s'mores, the chocolate, the graham crackers, the little marshmallows, so stinking cute. I love them. And then the last set, it's a 66 count of Momoko stickers. It's the Namaste with the flowers. And I probably hauled these before, but there they are yet again. So those are available if you're interested. Then I picked up the magic washcloths. Why did I pick them up? They rip so easy. I'm going to tell you right now, we bought the Paw Patrol. We bought the Little Mermaid. We bought several of them over the years that I've been doing Dollar Tree buys six years now. We've bought several of them. They always rip. They're not very good. They're not very well made. They're very thin. But the reason why I picked these up is because these went with the cups that I picked up from the PBS. So I thought I would do like sets for next Easter. So the first one is that Eleanor something wonder why or whatever you see it with the little Transylvanian puppy or whatever it is So these are from the PBS shows and they match those little cups that I got I've already put them away So I can't sure like match them up for you now next one is Arthur Arthur and his I think that's his sister Next up they had rawr some kind of dinosaur Show that's new to PBS. I don't know what the name of it is. It's too small for me to read and then they also had this one something tiger danny tiger dan and tiger daniel tiger so stinking cute so they had those to kind of match the cups so pick those up in the toy section they had these new toys new to me anyway um, these are from Final Faction, and I've picked up pieces from this before. I don't know if it's these exact guys, um, because I gave them Christmas to the oldest boy in my life probably two years ago. So these might be the same monitos, like the same guys from the last time around, but I went ahead and got one of each of the new, and there was only three at my store that I went to anyway. This first one is called Karn. K-H-A-R-N. And then it's got like series two back here. Collect them all. I, like I said, my store only had three. So there's this one. Then there's this one that is the Alpha Team 1. Oops, who wanted it? Alpha Team 1. And the last one that I picked up is another card, but this one is red. So this one in the back says Crepitus, Crepitus Cron, and this one says General Diabol. Maybe since he's red, I don't know. But here are the three that I found at my store. It says that on the back you can scan the little code. What is that called? A UV code or what is it called? CVR code or huh? QR code? QR code. You can scan the QR code that's in the back of these two to watch the final faction cartoon. And these are from 2021. So those are the only three I found at my local Dollar Tree. Next up, I found more of the cute little planters. This is Xena the zebra. Xena the zebra. Then there is Duncan the dog. Who wanted it? I just dropped that one too. Duncan the dog, Xena the zebra. And the last one is Fraser the Flamingo. Fraser the Flamingo. Now, I will tell you that there are four in this new collection. And the other one is Kara the Cat. And it's a white ceramic cat. You can see it right there in the back. That is the only one I did not find. So, as you see, I got the zebra. I got the dog. I got the flamingo. But I did not get Kara the Cat right there. So those are out there for the ones who collect these. They're out and available. You can put faux, you can put real. I would put a drainage hole at the bottom though if you're gonna put real. Now I picked up some more fabric and these I'm gonna go very quickly. They're all pretty much solid prints. There's this one, which by the way, I would love to have a pair of trousers or little tailored shorts like this. Then there's this green lime green with like the dark green squiggly line 
Then there's this beige that almost looks like corduroy, almost, but it's not. I hate corduroy. This one looks even more so like corduroy, and I hate the way corduroy feels. I have a thing with texture, ugh. Then there's just this like solid print, but it's got like a very thin pinstripe to it. I would love a pair of shorts from those two. Then there is this beautiful light gray color. Can you imagine like a suit out of that? Oh yeah. Then here's the orange kind of looking like that. Um, what is the word that I just told you that I can't stand? Corduroy. Oh, oh. That's what it looks like, corduroy. I don't, know, I don't know why I lost my train of thought right there. Then there are these patterns that are real pretty too. And then they had a solid orange print, very Halloween-y, Halloween -y. and then um, a black and white buffalo check, which I think we've seen before. So they have all of these that you could do all kinds of creative things with. I mean, come on, my goodness, look at that. There's a pattern, a, a style, a color for everyone. So there's that. Then I picked up these little makeup bags. This is from the cutesy department also. So like usually up at the front or the, it's got its own little section of all the cutesy things like, like feathered pins and stuff like that. I found these makeup bags. This first one says it's in a lilac color and it says stargazer and the zipper kind of matches it too. Then there's this one that says, oh my stars in like this mint green color. Oh my stars. And then the last one is in this beautiful hot pink color and it says made of stars and the zipper pool right there matches. So there's these three that I found. And then a Dollar Tree buys video wouldn't be from case for Karen. I, a Dollar Tree video would not be without a book cause I, I can't remember how no, the saying goes. How does the saying go? Then. I haven't said it in so long. A Dollar idea. Tree a Dollar Tree haul from Case for Karen wouldn't be without books. I don't always find books, but when I do, I like to share with you all, and I found one book only. That was very bad. This fog is real, ladies and gentlemen. Also, thank you, everyone. I appreciate you all so very much, everybody, friends and family in the comment section, who has told me that the reason why I am losing my hair is due to what I went through in the middle of January and half of Jan, sorry, middle of December, half of January. Yes, I did I not know, I did, not I did even Wildfire has been losing hers. Mm -hmm. She did not know yes. why, remember, she got it first. Her live and lover is patient zero, which I still I mean, we haven't let go of. You're gonna get it eventually. Anyway, I did not know that one of the signs or one of the symptoms of that, if I haven't gone through enough already, is that you start losing your hair. Um, so yeah, so that's another reason why I went and cut mine off too, to kind of help with the losing of the hair, but it, it hasn't, it's, I'm still losing hair. But anyway, I picked up this book. It is a paperback, paperback novel. It's Crystal Smith Bloodleaf. The strongest magic requires the greatest sacrifice. International edition. I kind of just liked the artwork on it, but for all I know, once I start scrolling through it, maybe it's the most awesome book ever, but I loved the cover of it and the price of when it sold out in the wild is covered up in the back, so I can't share it with you. Now, have you made it to the end of this video? Are you still here with us? Are you here? Raise your hand. Let me know. Whoop, whoop. If you're still here, I have a giveaway going on right now. What video? I don't know. I can't tell you, but it's somewhere. One of my previous videos. I've got a giveaway where I'm actually picking two winners. Two, two, two winners. I also have another giveaway where I have a planner going on. Those are two separate videos. Now on the planner, there'll be other things that'll go with it. But in reality, the two that I've already shown, right? Um, I'm going to be giving You're Gorgeous and Hello Beautiful. And I'm going to put goodies in here for you all as well. So check out the video where I mentioned that there's two winners. Two, two, two mints in one. And then maybe I'll do the be happy with the planner. Like put this with the planner and put goodies in here for you all too. So I've got two giveaways going on right now. One just ended on the 17th, I think. I was late 
to the game on announcing the winner, but the winner has been announced. The box is ready to go. I didn't mail it this weekend. Like I told her, I will be mailing it tomorrow. Well, when you see this video, it'll already be mailed out. There you go. It'll already be gone because this video is not coming out today. Um, so congratulations to our winner, Rebecca Creates. She won the last giveaway. Um, before that, we had Kimberly S. who had done, who had won the giveaway and her package went out to her. And she's already let me know that she received it and she thanked me for all the extra goodies. So I've got two more giveaways going on right now. So you just need to watch my previous videos to see which ones and what you need to do. And again, the Be Happy will go with the planner and these two will go with the other two gift ideas that I've got going on. Um, and I'm gonna pack it with some goodies and get that mailed off to you once those giveaways are over. I wonder if the two giveaway one has already ended. I need to go watch it, find it, and see when it ended. Regardless, good luck to all. My my giveaways are so simple and easy. You don't have to be a subscriber, but I would like for you to be. You don't have to hit the like button, but I would appreciate it if you would. It's available. It's open to anyone in the world. If you're younger than 18 years, uh, just ask permission from your parents. But again, I don't think anybody under the age of 18 watches me. And um, yeah, that's all. That's all I ask is just you. That's all you have to do to enter. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this video. Let me know what your favorite item was in this video. Also, if you could be so kind to hit that thumbs up, it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, it helps me immensely here on YouTube to get suggested referred out so new friends and family can discover the channel. Also, are you a member of the family already? But if you're not, we'd love to have you. So all you need to do is hit that subscribe button down below. It's free, 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 free. Who doesn't like free wildfire? Everybody loves free. Everybody loves free. There's also a bell next to it that you can click so that you receive notifications as to when I upload a new video. You miss out on zero of the fun. And for now, from Wildfire and myself, goodbye from Texas.